Hello, Professor Hildebrandt here. This will be my fourth and final video for from Chapter 10 on hypothesis testing um, from our statistics book. This is the third in a series where I've worked out some additional examples to hopefully um, help you guys see how we go about um, conducting a hypothesis test. Um, so this is my third example, and this will be another one-sided test. But this time, unlike my first two examples, um, we do not know the standard deviation for our population. And so we're not going to be able to calculate a z-score. Um, instead, we're going to have to calculate that t-statistic. So this is question um, number 12 from chapter 10. You can find it in your textbook on page 340 if you would like to follow along. Um, but I'm going to read it out to you now. Okay, so it says the management of white industries is considering a new method of assembling the golf cart. The present method requires a mean time of 42.3 minutes to assemble the cart. So that's the, um, that's the, at the current average for the population using their, um, the current method that they have. Um, but then we're told the mean assembly time for a random sample of 24, so we're going to have a sample down here, and it's going to include 24 carts, um, is using a new method, and the mean for the sample was 40.6 minutes. So I've listed that out here, and the sample had a standard deviation of 2.7 minutes. Using a significance level of 0.1, can we conclude that the assembly time using the new method is faster? So that's what we're just trying to figure out here. Um, is the new method faster. So just like when we know our standard deviation, we're going to kind of follow that same process for our hypothesis testing. So the first is we have to outline um, our null hypothesis and all, our alternate hypothesis, okay? Well, so this is my null. So my null hypothesis is that the mean for the population is still going to be equal or perhaps even greater than um, that 42.3, okay? The, um, the current mean time we had using the old method. Um, and then my alternate hypothesis then is that the population mean will actually be less than 42.3 minutes. Because remember, from our random sampling of 24 carts being assembled, that new sample mean time was less than that. It was 40.6. Um, okay, so that's our that's what we're going to be testing is this null hypothesis here. So our second step then is to uh, figure out what is our decision rule. And remember, this is based on the level of significance um, that the problem gives us. Um, for conducting research, we have to come up with it on our own, but here they're giving it to us. Um, we're still going to use that same table B5 from your text, okay? But this time it's going to be a little different. Um, we're, we are going to use the degrees of freedom because we're doing a t-statistic here, not a z-score. Um, so we're going to do the column the same. So for your column, you're going to go to the one-sided test and you're going to find that alpha or significance level of 0 0.10. Um, but for your row, here's where we're making the change. You have to first calculate what we call the degrees of freedom. So hopefully you all recall we did this in the last chapter. Um, but you just take your sample size, your n. In this case, our n is 24. And you subtract 1 from that. So our degrees of freedom, the row that we're looking for is degrees of freedom row 23. And so if you look at table B5, um, you would find a value there of 1.319. Okay, so then what is our decision rule going to be? The decision rule we will reject. I'm sorry, I zoomed in and out here. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis if the t value, which is what we're about to calculate, is, sorry, I messed up here. Let me, well, I'm trying to, trying to get rid of this, but I can't. I'm just going to work with it. Okay, so we're going to go with um, rejecting the null hypothesis if the t statistic that we find is less than negative 1.319. 
Um, Because again, going back up here to the hypothesis um, that we're testing, right? That alternate hypothesis is what's going to happen if the value is less than um, the current population mean of 42.3. So we're looking for something. Our rejection region is going to be the lower region or the left-sided tail. And in case you haven't watched the other videos yet to know what I'm talking about there, let me draw out our normal distribution. And so this is where we're going to put that negative 1.319. And so this blue shaded region here to the left, this is what we call the rejection region. Um, and so if we find a T in that region, um, then we will reject it. Okay, well then that takes me to my third step here, which is to find T. We've got to find that statistic for the sample. Um, and so our equation, again from the last chapter, T equals... The sample mean minus the population mean divided by the sample standard deviation, which is divided by a square root of our sample size. And so for this question, we would have t equals 40.6 minus that 42.3 that we're testing. Our standard deviation was 2.7 minutes. And again, our sample here was a size of 24. I keep making these marks accidentally. Sorry, y'all. All right, so let's calculate the math. Um, up on top, we'll get negative 1.7. In our denominator, we'll have 2.7 divided by 4.899. Missing a 9, 9, 9, there we go. And so then we'll have negative 1.7 divided by 0 0.551. And so my T here is negative 3.0. Eight, five. And so if I chart this T on my distribution, that would be somewhere over here, negative 3.085. And so it is in the uh, rejection region. Um, and so we would actually reject the null hypothesis in this case. Um, and this would mean that the assembly time is less than 42.3 minutes. Remember, that was our alternate here, is that the mean time actually ends up being less than what it used to be, which is a good thing in this case, right? We were hoping to have an assembly method that made us more efficient, um, and because we have rejected the null hypothesis, we have uh, pretty closely proved that to be true. All right, I hope this helps, and this is the end of this video.